the crisis that we, we are facing, the crisis that we are facing, facing the last uh, three, four years. In Greece, and not only in Greece, in uh, the south of Europe, is the product of uh, international uh, crisis, uh, not uh, of the economy in general, uh, not uh, of course of the policies, but uh, of the uh, system. Uh, we are facing a crisis of a, a social economic system of the present social economic system, the crisis of capitalism. This crisis reflected with uh, different ways, different ways, different forms, uh, different uh, places of uh, the planet. In uh, the south of Europe, the reflection is at this stage massive unemployment, uh, unemployment uh, rates, unemployment percentage, uh, which uh, is uh, which are uh, very big uh, in comparison with uh, the crisis of the past. For example, it's the first time. In Greece and Spain, in which we have uh, so big unemployment uh, rates, so big unemployment percentage, especially in youth. Uh, this crisis in the south of Europe uh, is uh, the product of uh, the uh, weak character capitalism uh, in this uh, area of, of Europe. Uh, Greece, Spain, Italy were completely uh, impossible to uh, be uh, antagonistic powers uh, to Germany or other uh, developed capitalist countries. Uh, Euro, the, the common currency, was uh, a completely uh, distortion of the balance of forces inside uh, European capitalism. And uh, by link, uh, by linking Greece, Spain, Italy, uh, Portugal uh, with the same currency with the other, in the same currency with the other uh, developed and power, powerful capitalist countries. Countries of the capitalist north, European capitalist north, uh, the, the whole situation, the whole uh, stability of European capitalism uh, was put uh, in uh, big danger. We have explained as Marxists uh, in the past that this attempt to connect different economies, different uh, national capitalism, ca capitalist countries to uh, a common currency will uh, create uh, a mass if uh, the growth has been uh, stopped. Uh, we had in the previous 20, 30 years uh, 
growth, big growth in Europe. And uh, the growth, this growth, uh, was uh, uh, prolonged uh, by the artificial means of the credit boom, boom the credit boom. And this credit boom uh, creates a very explosive situation. As the recession came, all the contradictions uh, came to the, to the uh, first uh, plane, to, came to, uh, came to The situation with explosive way. So, the weakest, the weakest link of the south, the weakest link of the weakest link, Greece, faced three, four years ago, uh, the perspective of an uncontrolled, uh, of an uncontrolled bankruptcy, of a. Uh, an uncontrolled default. But the problem for the European bourgeois was that uh, if Greece defaulted, all the euro building uh, would have big problem the perspective of, uh, of, an, of an uncontrolled collapse of uh, the Euro system. That's why the German, the French and the other powerful capitalists of Europe try to create this uh, packets, pockets, packets of uh, uh, money, of loans uh, for sale the, the European banks, but also to save the euro, euro itself. After three and, uh, and a half uh, years of uh, permanent austerity, in Greece now we have a situation social disaster. The unemployment is by the by the end of this year will be twenty eight percent for the first time until the first time since fifties uh, Greece. For the, first, for the first time since the 50s in Greece, we have a wave of immigration uh, among the uh, youth people. In, uh, among the people of, the, of uh, the ages between 20 and 24 percent, 18. 24 percent. The percentage of uh, unemployment is 55 percent. There is a whole generation in Greece which has no any hope. So, also have. Poverty way, a poverty way in the population, inside the population. Uh, three million people in Greece live uh, today below the poverty uh, line. And uh, of course, this social disaster has created an, 
explosive political situation, an explosive also social situation. This uh, this year we close also a period of uh, three years of massive mobilizations of any kind. Mobilizations of the youth, mobilizations of petty bourgeois social strata, mobilizations of the working class, of the industrial working class. A level, we have a level of Organizations which uh, never uh, we have seen never uh, the last two or three decades in Greece. First of all, we had the uh, general strikes against the first memorandum. Of course, the leaders of trade unions uh, try to channelize the rage of the workers to uh, channel uh, with uh, no uh, results, practical results. They guided the uh, movement to the impasse. And uh, after three, four uh, months of mobilizations, uh, we have a period of uh, stagnation in the strike. Stragl stagnation, stagnation of the strike. But after this short period, we had the big movement of the squares. The movement of the squares started to May in, from May uh, 2008 and uh, uh, the final episode of this movement was the big uh, mobilizations and big demonstrations that we have we had in uh, the late days of uh, July 2011. Uh, this period of strike we have two uh, big general strikes. The broad masses which participated in the movement tried to find uh, an answer, a political answer, tried to find a supporter, a strong supporter to their struggle, and it was normal uh, that they looked to. Uh, the trade unions to the working class, to the organized working class. So, these uh, general strikes was the, were the product of the pressure from below, from, from the broad uh, masses, struggling masses, the destroyed petty bourgeois. The unemployed, and all together, we pushed the union to some, take some action. But one more time, leadership, thank you, leadership, led the, uh, the movement without any real perspective. They refused to 
call for an allowed general strike. And uh, they guided the movement into impasse. And at the same time, they helped the Papandreou government and uh, gave they gave to to Papandreou government uh, a vacuum that uh, a vacuum uh, a period a new period of life until of course the next part. The next uh, package of measures, of anti working measures, which provoke an even deeper movement in October 2011, uh, which uh, this time has its main basis to. The unions, the worker places, to the working class, to the organized working class. We had in October 2011 a very massive 40 hour, 48 hour general strike and uh, a massive demonstration the second day. After these demonstrations and strike, the workers one more time one more time wait for uh, from its leaders to give some kind of perspective. But once again once again the Leaders refuse to give any perspective to them. But in the parliament and among the government, the crisis has multiplied, was very big, and the Papandreou government was completely uh, without any real support in society and lost one MP after another. So finally, Papandreou government uh, resigned and we have a prolonged uh, period of uh, prolonged pre-election period in which the new government with uh, Papa Vimos, a banker, a faith personality to the European Union, to the European Central Bank, passed one more anti-workers, anti-popular anti uh, package of measures with more cuts with uh, more austerity and more taxes for the poor people and the workers. And finally, uh, we have, after one more 48 general strike and one more massive demonstration in which the police make a, a brutality in which the police attack by brutality by a massive uh, uh, tear guns uh, attempt etc uh, after this Big struggle. Finally, the government decided to go to 
elections, go for elections, for avoiding the danger of an open revolutionary situation. Because after two years of massive strikes and struggles, demonstrations, the people turned their attention to the political field and started to uh, have a new political mood, to start to turn their attention to the left and especially to Syriza. So, the bourgeois tried to restore the destroyed, uh, destroyed uh, popularity of their leaders and parties in democracy of the leaders of Paso, the right wing leaders of Paso, and try to uh, have after the elections, the May elections, a new uh, coalition government uh, with uh, all their parties and leaders together uh, for the preparation of a new measures against the workers and against the Greek people. But working class, the youth, and the destroyed petty bourgeois masses had a different opinion, had uh, so big and massive support to Syriza, to a political coalition which in the last 2009 elections, national elections, has only 4.4% 4, 4 as a result. And after two and a half years, its percentage, series of percentage, rose to almost 17%. This work was a political earthquake in the Greek society. The election results of May also show a very low, an historical low percentage for new democracy, only 19%. Collapse, political collapse, electoral collapse of PASO with only 12.5%. So, millions of people, of workers, of workers, of youth, of youngsters, uh, destroyed per the bourgeois, of ordinary Greek people. turn to Syriza and uh, uh, ask from Syriza to give an immediate political solution. Syriza gave a political hope to all these people by supporting the slogan of a left government which will apply Pro people, pro poor people, pro worker uh, program. At the same time, the second bigger traditional working class party in Greece, the historical Communist Party, Greek Communist Party, Kukwe, refused to give a clear an immediate political solution, political perspective to the Greek workers. 
by safe by uh, support and no clear tactic, no clear uh, political program. Uh, its leadership uh, adopt as the main slogan that is not the weather, is not uh, the, 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 uh, the, pers the perspective must be not the left government, but uh, the workers must uh, organize new struggles against the new bourgeois government. Uh, the leadership of the Communist Party refused to uh, unificate its forces with Syriza to the task of uh, the conquesting of the power. And the workers start to feel that there is no any reason to support the Communist Party. And they believe that only Syriza can give an immediate political solution to their problems. So, in the pre-election period of the second, national elections, we had a massive support uh, for Syria. But at the same time, the bourgeois, the Greek bourgeois, and the international bourgeoisie, the Troika uh, representatives, tried to terrorize the Greek people. They said, every day in TV channels, mass media, that the vote for Syriza is a vote for massive poverty for the exit of the Europe, from the Europe. And uh, a minority in the population, and especially the people who are living in the countryside, the people that are taking pensions from the state, are taking weights from the state, uh, start, started to, to fear the future of a left government. Started to feel uncomfortably with this perspective. And the problem uh, were uh, much bigger because Syriza leadership refused to give give political, clear political answers to the vital question uh, which everyone posed. In Greece. What will be the political and the economical perspective if Troika will push Greece out of Europe? If Troika will push Greece into an open and uncontrolled default? And the problem was main problem was that Syriza leadership not gave clear and convincing political answers to this question. They have speak, spoke for, spoke for a, a plan B which Alexis Tsipras and the other comrades in the leadership of Sinaspismos has in their offices, but uh, they say that this is not a plan uh, 
which uh, someone can announce. So this creates big confusion to the minds of uh, many ordinary people in Greece. Alexis Tsipras insisted that its policy can protect the position of the Greek capitalism inside Europe and that uh, the Troika uh, attempts to, te to terrorize uh, the Greek people was without uh, any base, was only words, and that uh, Greece is, uh, will be always inside the Eurozone because, as Alexis Tsipras said, uh, the German bourgeois and the other bourgeois north of the Europe uh, don't, uh, want, don't want the, don't want uh, Greece to be out of Eurozone. So, uh, this was not a real perspective. The leadership of uh, Syriza uh, not, uh, not understand that Troika attempt to terrorize the Greek people is not a farce, it's not a trap, but it's real. And uh, especially if Syriza and if the Greek left will be in power, this plan can put uh, by uh, Troika representatives, Greek bourgeois and the national bourgeoisie in practice can be real. So, in such conditions, many pensionists, many civil servants, many people from the countryside, in general many, many people which have some property, uh, some uh, property to lose, uh, decided to vote without any enthusiasm, of course, for Samaras and for the democracy. To give one more chance to the Greek bourgeoisie to protect the, posi the position of Greek capitalism inside the Union. But only one week after the elections, the situation became even more clear. Although Samaras was supported from Merkel, from the international bourgeoisie in general, the imperialists refused the German, especially the German bourgeoisie, refused to give any real support to the Greek, to the new Greek government. They started to speak one more time for new measures, and the new government, which has elected under the banner of the renegotiation of the memorandum. Finally, decided to pass a new uh, package of measures, of austerity measures, with total value 11.6 billion euros. So, after this, it is uh, obvious that the Greek people and especially the youth, which is the main victim of the bourgeois attack, start to, uh, 
start to think even more radical than in the past months. All the illusions, the illusions for the new government, which is composed from new democracy, from PASOK, new PASOK leadership under Venizelos, and from uh, a right-wing uh, right split of Sinaspismos, Dimar, the party of Dimar, all the illusions for this government has collapsed. Now we are in, uh, in a period in which all the conditions exist for uh, an uncontrolled default of Greece and for the exit of Greece from the Eurozone. Because, as we have explained, there is no any real perspectives for the Greek capitalism inside the Eurozone. Because Greek capitalism is very weak, because there is no any real interest of the uh, European, uh, North European capitalists to keep uh, with uh, the one loan after another Greece inside Europe. Now Greece is a burden from, for the Greek, for the European capitalism and especially for the capitalist Eurozone and it is time to push Greece out of Europe. So, we are just before the famous Brexit. But the Brexit, as we have explained, and as it is obvious to everyone, in the conditions of capitalism, at the frames of capitalism, will be a real nightmare for the big majority of the Greek population. Many people try to compare Greece with Argentina, but Argentina collapsed, Argentina bankrupted, defaulted in a different period when the international capitalism was in a period of growth. When China, capitalist China, uh, developed in a very quick manner, and when also other countries of Latin America also uh, developed with big uh, percentage of growth, like Brazil. In this period, the returning to the national currency and the devalue, devaluation of the national currency of Argentina helped Argentina to pass the difficult period of the deep recession and to return to a big percentage of growth. This will be defaulted and will return to national currency in a completely different period, in a completely different situation. The period of uh, big decline of world capitalism, the period in which uh, every European and developed capitalist country will be faced with the same problems like Greece. Already we have big level of debt in every European country. After Greece, the line 
is Portugal and also Spain and Italy. So the perspectives is for a continuation and for the escalation of the social and economic disasters of Greece. And this will provoke an even uh, more polarized, polarized situation in the society and this will uh, have a reflection in politics. Although already we have, together with uh, the big uh, growth Syriza influence, also the growth of the influence of the neo nazist Golden Dawn. This reflect the social polarization, which will be even more sharper next period. Syriza leadership believe that can be, can, that there is, that exists an easy road of democracy and of ref, ref, social reform, social and political, progressive social and political reforms for Greece under capitalism. We as Marxists, as the Marxists of Syriza, we believe that there is no such a road. There is no this road. We believe that the most urgent political task of Syriza is the conquesting of power and the applying the, the application of a, a socialist program, of a program which will pass main levels of the economy to uh, the hands of a new power, a new state, which will be in uh, the total control of the working people. We believe that the only road, the only step forward for the Greek society is socialism and not the present capitalist nightmare. But also we believe that this road is the same, is the only road also for the European people, the European workers, the European work, the European youth and for the workers all over the world. That's why our main slogan is the United Socialist States of Europe. An old slogan of the communist movement, of the world, of the international communist movement, which has abandoned from uh, the Stalinists in the past. This is a very uh, important slogan for today. This express the only road for the progress, the only road for solving the necessary, for solving the elementary problems of the working people and of the youth.